What's up? What's happening? Uh, today is another good day to go flying. I and mean, then it's about to rain here. I was gonna try a flight. I got this add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's called um, Random Failures. And we have our settings here. So I wanted to do a proper flight. Uh, I planned a proper, proper flight. And I want to do it with random failures enabled because that's something in my opinion that has been missing as a part of uh, Flight Simulator. Their failures are really <laughs> primitive, pr trivial, <laughs> primitive failures and trivial. Okay, everything is on 35. Ah, geez, I'm not liking my odds. Now, plan of action today is a flight from Fox November Charlie Alpha to Fox Charlie Bravo Bravo. And we're gonna take the Diamond DA62. Now, I did a, a little bit of reading up on the, the checks and the procedures. Although it's not 100% modeled in Flight Simulator 2020, but uh, I have the checklist on my phone. So single engine IFR in a, uh, sorry, single pilot IFR in a single engine piston is a very bad idea. In fact, in some places it's actually illegal to fly sing, single engine um, piston single pilot. So yeah, it's, it's a very bad idea. I calculated we need 52 gallons for this flight. Your phone is ringing. Pick up your phone. So uh, yeah, I calculated 52 gallons for this flight, which is a very conservative number. So that's 26 gallons aside. Flight conditions. Let's see what the live weather is. If the live weather is good, well, then we'll just make it proper IFR, hard IMC. Uh, but if it's, if it's, Meh, then we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Ah, oh, from what I'm seeing, the weather looks very nice. But I want to give myself a bit of a challenge. So... Alright, let's do rain. Now, let's get this puppy started. So, before we continue, I just need to explain something. So, you always have to have a, a, an alternate, a second option. And for this flight, I have two alternates. Okay, it's one alternate, but it, it works for both ways. So it's both my takeoff alternate. That means if I cannot come back into the field due to uh, unforeseen circumstances, then my takeoff alternate was Fox Route Charlie Papa Papa, which is on the coast about 30 minutes to the north. And then my en route alternate up to my PET. PET stands for point of equal time which means beyond that point, I'll have to continue on to my destination. And before that point, I can turn back and it's the point right where time to destination and time back to my original departure point is exactly the same. So my PT, I calculated was 88 miles to go, 88 miles to destination or 112 miles from departure. So up to that point, uh, my alternate will be Fox Charlie Papa Papa. I have all the charts, everything uh, looked at. Minimum safety altitude on route is 3,600 feet, but I plan on going up to about 9,000, 11,000 if possible, just to get that fuel economy. Okay, I think the failures have already struck. Imagine, we haven't even gotten off the ground and... <laughs> okay, let's make it 10%. Okay, looks like the left engine has failed. Jeez, I'm so confused right now. Okay, let's try cycling the master. Right, so now I'm in the would-be run-up area. And we're just gonna do a quick brief. Set up the flight plan, so it's FN. Flight plan is set, and it's just gonna be direct, so we don't have any waypoints to deal with. Now, we just need to brief uh, quickly uh, if we need to return. I'm gonna brief the NDB runway 18 for Cabinda. Okay, NDB runway 18, tower 1183. Um, tower is set, Charlie Alpha 280. So if you come down here to ADF, 200 and ah, oh jeez, <laughs> what is it going? 280 and then enter, enter, and then where it says uh, PFD, we can put bearing one ADF. There we go, 280, and it's indicating, but we can also identify it. So, tune, identify, and test. Okay, Charlie Alpha is identified. 
This approach will be initially 3,000 feet, heading 084 outbound. We can descend up to 1,400 feet. It could be between 1,400 and 1,100. And then uh, it'll be a left hand turn heading 342 for one minute, and then right hand turn heading 34, correction, 142 to intercept a QDM of 184 inbound to the beacon. Minimum descent altitude will be 1,000 feet. If we don't have the field inside, Mr. Approach will be climbing onto magnetic track of 184 to 1,500 QNH, and then right turn climbing 3,000 back to Charlie Alpha. But in this case, if we do not uh, find the field, I do not feel comfortable. We'll just head straight to <laughs> Fox Charlie Papa Papa. Okay, so I'm just gonna have this plate open for departure just in case anything goes wrong. All right, it's clear down the runway, clear right. I'm not gonna talk to Ty in this game because they are ridiculous. All lights on, checklists are completed. Let us roll. Righty, rotate speed is. 80 knots, anything before 80, we are rejecting the takeoff. Anything after 80, well, we have lots of runway here, so it will depend on the situation. Uh, if we don't have runway, well, we'll just continue straight ahead. Uh, and if we still have the field inside, we'll just come back. We'll just make a 180 and come back to the field. All right, ready? Let's roll. And why is there a freaking fuel truck? <laughs> on the runway. Hold the brakes. Okay, everything's in the green. Air speed's alive and increasing. Eighty knots. Oh, jeez. The rudder on this thing is very sensitive. Positive rate. Gear up. And we're gonna climb out at a hundred and ten. Oh, jeez. We have a right-hand engine failure. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Uh, Martin is has <laughs> had an engine failure. So, power up. Clean up. Identify its right engine that has failed. Verify. Yes. Fix. Well, looks like this has been a proper, proper failure. Feather. Well, we cannot feather this engine now, can we? We are barely maintaining altitude. Okay. VMC in this aircraft is 80 knots, so I cannot go below 80 knots. If I go below 80 knots, that is death. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put it down here. Alrighty. Uh, welcome back to the ground. That was an interesting takeoff. I feel like I did lots of things very wrong. <laughs> so um, I'm happy we're on the ground. But yeah, um, this is where our flight ended. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to make another video where we actually go out and fly the flight. Uh, and then I'll uh, engage the failures. Let's just make it 5%. Of course, it seems like 10% was very big. But if you enjoy, like, share, subscribe. And um, I have a lot of work to do because I don't think I handled that to the best of my ability. But I will see you in the next video.